Hi guys, hope you're well. So I am going to hold your hand through preparing, making and roasting the most amazing Christmas roast hand with black pepper and marmalade, which is a classic, it's delicious. So what we have here is a four, four and a half kilo chunk of gammon. This has already been salted, but it's not cooked. So what we do is we put it in a massive pot, let it sit in that water for maybe an hour or two, get rid of that water. And that's not cooked, right? So we need to poach that, put it on a heat with some root vegetables, carrots, celery, you can put garlic in there if you want, a little bouquet garni or a mixture of herbs. I've got some orange zest in mine, peppercorns, and we'll slowly poach that for an hour and a half. Now I've done that. So what we have here now is the skin attached to the fat. So I'll remove the string like that, and then I need to just pull them out like this. Now what we're gonna try and do is keep as much as the fat on this as possible. We now are just gonna take a little pride in removing the skin, but also evening out the fat. So it's basically about that much all the way around. So we've trimmed that skin off. Now I wanna use the knife to lightly score the fat. And what that's gonna do is two things. It's gonna give you this kind of texture that allows the oven to render the fat quicker and go crispier. And once you've gone across the whole ham, then simply turn it across the other way and we'll go in a crisscross. It's really easy, it's really fun. Don't spend hours and hours doing this. You've got way too much to do at this time of year. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes just to get the fat going and sizzling, right? So the oven is at 170 degrees Celsius, which is 325 Fahrenheit. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, lovely people, so it's had 20 minutes, and in that 20 minutes, it's just enough time to get a sizzle on. We're gonna take our little spoon out. You can angle the tray a little bit. So we've already got juices coming out, and we can start the basting process. What we've done is just open up this texture to receive flavor. Now, you can see I'm dusting this quite generously with black pepper, and I like that kick. Salt is already in this story, so we don't need to go anywhere near salt. So on the marmalade, just get that on the top and the heat will just start to naturally melt it anyway. So as time goes on, it gets thicker and thicker until it can't run off anymore. And that is when you achieve perfection. You can see now, can't you, that by creating those little crisscrosses, it's clinging on black pepper and marmalade. An amazing combination with that beautiful ham. Look at that. So this goes in the oven now for an hour, and it's gonna go back in at 170 degrees Celsius, 325 Fahrenheit. And that temperature is a good one because it's not too hot, it's not too cool. And over that hour, it's slowly gonna caramelize and kind of get tighter and thicker and stick to it more and keep glazing it until it is a thing of beauty. Right, back in the oven. Okay, so this bad boy's been going for about half an hour. Let's have a look. Come on, look at that. Let's get basting. You can get some of those juices going with a spoon by all means. What I've done is get a load of rosemary and tie it up and create a rosemary brush. Now you might think I'm mad, but I'm gonna use the rosemary brush to not only impart flavor, but also pick up that lovely marmalade and put it back on the ham. It smells amazing, oh my lord. Back in you go, another 20 minutes to go. So that beautiful ham has had a lot of love, care and attention. It's been poached and it's been roasted and glazed. Here we are, oh my lord. Look, look at that. Guys, look at it. Absolutely stunning. Shining, salty, sweet gorgeousness. So let's get this onto a board. Now while that is still warm, just put the last remnants of that amazing marmalade on top. As it cools down, it will kind of firm up. I want you to go back to your black pepper. And trust me, a beautiful dusting is gonna make a massive difference. It's gonna be so good. Guys, look at that, come on. That's what we wanted. Juicy, juicy inside. And that gnarly, caramelized, golden outside. And no matter how you serve that, whether it's with a big old buffet, salads, cheeses, breads, or with some mashed potato or fried egg or some bubbling squeak, that, my friends, is one hell of a beautiful Christmas roast ham. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.